how nice is it to have this extra few days? Yeah, very nice. Just, um, you know, make sure your, your body's feeling really well and mentally you're prepared for another round. And then, um, you know, just getting um, our systems and whatever we need to work on to be ready for Edmonton and be prepared as we possibly can be. With a lot of it about mindset, how would you describe the feeling in the room today and right now as you guys start to gear up again? I think um, everyone's excited to, you know, we only, you know, we won one round and it's exciting, but I don't think anyone's, um, you know, hanging their hat on that. And I think that it's on to the next and, um, you know, we'll look at the film today and practice the next two days. And I'm sure everyone's going to be really excited to play. Can you take anything from the season series or was that too early to get a real true gauge? Yeah, I'd say too early and, um, you know, since I've been here, I've probably played these guys 25, 30 times, especially with the COVID year, we played them 10 times, so um, definitely have a feel for, you know, how good they are and what their team is, but I think that'll probably get, you know, elevated even more. You were targeted in the, in the Predator series. What do you expect from the Oilers at even? We talked so much about their power play, but what about at even strength? What do you expect and what do you have to do? It's a good question and I'm um, not completely sure yet. You know, I think that we haven't watched any of the film yet or done anything, but as far as um, the, the number one thing probably being is trying to keep McDavid to uh, as um, limited his chances as he has and probably same with dry settle and see how the penalty box, I'd say that's uh, the main things. Quinn, there's a lot of talk throughout the season about learning how to play in uncomfortable moments. Did you guys feel like all that work in the regular season and 0-0 games, 1-1 games helped you guys a lot in that opening series? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we didn't we didn't score too much and we didn't, um, we had our looks, I thought, especially in game six, but we didn't create necessarily as much as we normally do, but um, we didn't give them much and you know, our goalies played big for us, and I thought we defended really hard, and we were able to win the series because of what you just said. We were comfortable with the zero zeros and trusted our system, and that we would be able to get our looks when we needed them. Who are you looking to lean on here in the second series? Just the way you guys have played defensively, especially it felt like it went to another level in the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. But I also think every series has its own um, flow or agenda or whatnot, and I think that you know it'll be a different look, and we'll, you know we won't know until game one and game two and until we get into this thing. Quinn, speaking of goalies. Can you talk to us a little bit about Shilovs? He's uh, kind of become a bit of a cult hero. What, what's the, the feeling around him in the locker room? I think that he just did a, a great job, and he's a young guy, but obviously very competitive, and the um, moment wasn't too big for him, and really happy for him, and really happy for our team that we have um, another guy like that. Surprise? No. <laughs> no. Quinn, you're an American, but you've been here long enough. Like. Do you sort of grasp the significance of two Canadian teams now going head to head and the last two Canadian teams in the yeah. playoffs here? Yeah, I probably don't, but I think once this thing um, gets going, we will. But obviously, it's two markets where the hockey is so important to each city and so important to the people. So um, it's going to be a really you know competitive series, I'm sure, and um, I'm sure the fans will enjoy it and whatnot. But as far as uh, you know, players, I think we just got to worry about. Um, you know, what we can control and doing what we need to do. You guys have taken pride in sort of, you know, smashing the narratives that have surrounded this team. Coming into the season, midway through, you lose Thatcher in the first round. They're obviously heavy, heavily favored betting markets analysts. How do you approach that side? Do you embrace an underdog role in this one? I mean, I don't know if we're an underdog or if we're anyone's expecting us to win. I have no idea. I just, all I know is what I know, and I'm just trying to... Um, put myself in a position where I'm best prepared to play my best hockey, and I think that's what everyone on our team is trying to do. There's that great seam pass that the Oilers like to execute with dry settle down low, even at even strength. How do you have to defend them, Quinn, at even strength? Because they, they attack, they, they activate their D. It seems to be a different dynamic at, at playing against them at even yeah. strength. Um, probably just as a five-man unit and be connected, and I don't think anyone needs to do it alone. I think we just need to play to our system and, and do it well.